With each passing day, humanoid robots become more advanced, powerful, and human-like. These emotive, communicative robots have the potential to replace a large portion of the human workforce in the future. These developments are also concerning because they'll result in job losses. However, while these will benefit many businesses, it'll harm those who work in certain fields such as nurses, pharmacists, secretaries, and so on. Hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we keep you updated on every exciting discovery and mind-boggling insight in the world of robots, artificial intelligence, and future technology. Consider subscribing and turning on the bell notification for a slew of exciting robot content. If you have humanoid robots doing your everyday tasks, you'll become overly reliant on them. If you have robots that will take out the trash, do the dishes, cook the food, and watch the children for you, you'll become lazy and dependent. This is another disadvantage of evolving humanoid robot. Many people will be harmed by humanoid robots, which will replace their jobs. The robots will have the, an impact on middle class and low income families. Although, much of the upper class will be able to have these humanoid robots do tasks that they don't want to do, middle class families will not be able to afford them, leaving them to do the tedious tasks themselves. Many jobs can be replaced by automation systems and robots. Humanoid robots will one day take nearly all traditional labor roles in society, such as firefighting, food service, manufacturing, agriculture, construction, and community policing. Our economy will suffer if humanoid robots take over jobs held by middle class citizens. Now we're going to take a look at highly advanced humanoid robots that are scariest because they perform human-like tasks. So stick with this video to the end. Nadine Let's say you're speaking with a call center representative. You'll believe that the agent's a human while they're speaking, right? Your presumption may not be accurate though. Nadine might be that agent. She's a robotic humanoid of her kind. Nadine's body appears to be human-like. She can even recognize you from past visits, make eye contact with you, shake your hand, carry on conversations based on previous contacts, and so on. Kokoro Japan created Nadine, and Singapore's Nanyang Technological University created her software platform. Regarding her specifications, she features a webcam for gathering visual information, 3D depth cameras, and a microphone for audio inputs. Then, after these inputs have been processed, a variety of perception layers work to identify distinct faces, gestures, emotions, behaviors, etc., and then respond appropriately. With the use of built-in chatbots and a memory model, Nadine can manage a variety of inquiries and remember various users and their interactions with her. She is currently employed as a customer service representative in a Singaporean insurance firm. Erica now, when you watch news, you get the most recent updates from a human news anchor. What if I told you in a few years the news anchor might be a robot? Surprise! In Japan, a robot named Erika has recently begun sharing daily news on a television program. Hiroshi Ijigura, director of Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory, designed her. Erika is one of Japan's most intelligent humanoids with excellent speech capability. Unfortunately, she's unable to walk or move her hand. Only she can interact with humans and change her facial expressions based on the situation. In terms of specifications, she has 15 infrared sensors built into her eyes that can detect any movement. She she also has speech generation algorithms and facial recognition technology, which allows her to easily track different faces in a room. She also has 45 degrees of freedom, allowing her to move her face, neck, waist, and show various facial expressions. Rishimal She's an Indian humanoid robot created by Ranjit Srivastav. She debuted on August 1st, 2018. Ranjit spent two years developing her without the assistance of a technical lab or research lab. Rishimo has an emotional interpretation system through which she can detect emotions and respond accordingly. She can perform 83 different facial expressions in total. She is quadlingual, speaking English, Hindi, Bajpuri, and Marathi. When it comes to her systems, she works on four layers, which include speech recognition, APIs, and AI, which it uses to interpret conversational moves. She also has a camera built into her eyes that's capable of facial recognition, 3D mapping, and OCR. She can move her hands and fingers, but she doesn't have legs. She is a contestant on India's Got Talent, a popular Indian TV show, and she also appeared on Red FM, a popular Indian radio station, and hosted a show called Ask Rashomon. On this show, she answered questions from radio listeners. Currently, the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, has approached Rashomon's developer Ranjit. ISRO wanted to upgrade Rashomon so that she could be used in unmanned missions, which would be India's first in space. 
Gaganyan is the name of the mission which is led by Israel. Jaja. Just a quick question. Who is known as China's robot goddess? Jaja is the name of the goddess. She is a humanoid robot created by a team from the Chinese University of Science and Technology. She's said to be the most beautiful woman in China, only because she's able to converse with others and respond appropriately. Despite the fact that her speech pattern is not very smooth, she does, however, appear human-like due to her eye movements and speech lip synchronization. But oddly, she addresses her creator as my lord. In terms of features, she has speech generation algorithms that allow her to converse with humans and facial recognition technology that allows her to track different faces in a room. Jia Jia was even able to detect when photographers were taking unflattering photos of her and told them to not make her face look fat on camera when using these technologies. As a result, Jaja's creators hope that her interactions will gradually become more human and less robot-like over time. Sophia Do you believe that only humans can be granted citizenship in a country? This is no longer the case. Sophia, a humanoid robot created by Hong Kong-based company Hanson Robotics, is the world's first robot to be granted citizenship. She's now a Saudi Arab citizen. She's a well-known robot because her face was designed to resemble Audrey Hepburn, a well-known Hollywood actress. Sophia has been interviewed by the United Nations, The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon in America, the British Broadcasting Company, and others. Sophia's creator, Mr. Hansen, recently revealed in an interview that he created Sophia to assist hospitals, event managers, and crowd managers. To summarize his interview, he desired for Sophia to develop sufficient social skills to interact convincingly with humans. Sophia's features include neural networks, expert robotic systems, natural language processing, machine perception, motor control, and so on. She's also employing machine perception to recognize human faces, as well as to comprehend various emotional expressions and hand gestures. Mr. Hansen controls Sophia's hands, eyes, and legs using various path planning algorithms to give her human-like behavior. Another feature is that she can use natural language processing to interact with different people and respond correctly, which is very useful in interviews. All of these interactions are saved on a cloud network, allowing for easy conversation analysis with blockchain technology. Saya. A robot dressed in a smart suit, pink lipstick, and a neat hairstyle taught science and technology to a class of 10 year olds in Tokyo. Saya is the name of this human like robot. Professor Hiroshi Kobayashi created her. In an interview, Mr. Kobayashi stated that robotic teachers have a future in society. He also stated that he created Saya to provide children living in isolated communities with the opportunity to interact with new technology and receive an education that would have not been possible previously. Other benefits include treating all students equally, consistently providing high quality information, and significantly lowering the cost of education. Mr. Kobayashi has not stated that he plans to launch Saya in the global market. Biomni. She is a humanoid robot created by Beyond Imagination. She was created to assist humans in a variety of fields, including medical services and manufacturing tasks. Agriculture, for example. Biomni debuted at CES 2022 as the world's first fully functional general purpose robotic system. In terms of physical characteristics, she has a head, shoulders, waist, arms, and hands with opposable thumbs. She can lift up to 15.88 kilograms per arm. She can also perform delicate tasks such as pinching salts when cooking. We hope by exploring Nadine, Erica, Biomni, you've learned why humanoid robots are the scariest and why they're a threat to human lives. So what do you think about these humanoid robots and how they're working? Comment down your thoughts and thanks for watching.